So as you know, here at Munro Partners, we, we very much spend a lot of time looking for these things called S-curves. Uh, S-curves are what drives structural earnings growth. Structural earnings growth drives structural share price growth. Um, the best one that we always refer to is Apple. We know how smartphones evolved over a 10 year period from feature phone to smartphone. And we ultimately know how that drove Apple's earnings over a long period of time and effectively turned it into the biggest company in the world. As we look today, there's a number of S-curves we've been following at Munro Partners for a number, for a number of years. Uh, these range from things like digital payments to digital advertising to e-commerce or and finally digital enterprise. And internet enterprise we talk about is, is being cloud computing. And so we were following these for a number of years before COVID and then along came COVID and actually caused all of them to accelerate. Um, and so as we know, we was trapped inside for most of the year and a lot of these areas of digital adoption actually accelerated during COVID. And so what we now, as we look forward, our bet is or our view is, is that the habits that we formed through COVID will stick. And so as much as it's tempting to go and buy a lot of these cyclical sectors, and we do agree in the broadening of the recovery, we also don't really want to give up on these areas because we do expect this acceleration to stick. And the examples that we got of this are actually quite numerous. Um, if we look just across digital payments, we've seen effectively the cash disappearing at a much, much quicker rate than previously. And when we also look at a company like PayPal, they've effectively adopted thousands and millions and millions of customers over a very short period that they still have a chance to monetize now into the future. If we look at an area like internet disruption, Netflix obviously acquired a lot of subscribers during the quarter, as did Spotify. We expect those subscribers to stick into the future. And we also expect a company like Uber and Uber Eats, to the, the subscribers they picked up, to stick into the future. A lot of people learned how to use this service through this period. Uh, but the last two are really the most ones we're most interested in. Digital enterprise, clearly the shift to a digital transformation in your workplace is not going to disappear because COVID's gone away. Uh, here in Australia, I think most people would understand once you've gone back to the office, your Zoom bill's actually gone up, not down, because you now have to facilitate Zoom meetings from, 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 from your meeting rooms with people who now want to work from home. Work from home's clearly not going to go away. So this is a multi-year trend we see for some time. And then finally in e-commerce, you know, Amazon Prime members have adopted, but even for a company like HelloFresh, we have these amusing conversations with analysts in Europe who basically tell us that HelloFresh is going to lose all these new customers as soon as COVID goes away. And we can quite simply report to them from the future here in Australia, where we know for a fact that HelloFresh has continued to gain customers all the way through the last quarter of 2020 and all the way through the first quarter in 2021 despite COVID not being around. And that's just a classic example, however, an idea that you picked up during COVID has stuck and now is even accelerating as those network effects accelerate. And so from that point of view, while we recognize the recovery, we still want to stay true to these core areas because we still think they look super exciting in the months and years ahead.